lovelies, I hope you're all well. So as many of you know, I have recently, I say I, Bill and I, mainly Bill, he did a lot of the work, I did a lot of the titivating, uh, gave the craft room a complete overhaul. We also had a summer house built, which I was going to show you, but I haven't actually organised it. So it is a complete dumping ground at the moment, but at some point I will show you the summer house because I've got all my kind of blanks and non-essential items in there. I've got a lot of the children's craft things uh, and I've got a lot of kind of messy things in there. Um, as I say, a lot of my blanks are in the summer house which has allowed me to really overhaul the craft room and I am finally ready to show it to you. It's still not completely as I want it, there's a few things that still need tweaking but hopefully it will give you some ideas, it will maybe inspire you to organise your own craft room or change your own craft room and I think it's nice to be able to see different people's craft rooms because it gives you ideas and it gives you you know kind of way to look at a space differently. So I'd like to be able to say that this was a relatively cheap craft room makeover However, that would be a great big fat lie and it wasn't. These units here are from Ikea. Uh, I absolutely love the glass doors. I think they are so beautiful and I'm able to store so, so much. See, I've got some of my fabrics in there. All I've done is got some A4 mount board, uh, which was relatively cheap. In fact, it was like comic book board from Amazon and I've just wrapped my fabric around it. I've got my extensive collection of spray paints and different paints, uh, acrylics, there's watercolours, there's inks, I've got marbling bits there, I've got my ink pens, I've got fabric paint, I mean it's just endless. This shelf here is just chocker full of vinyl rolls, all different types from all different places. They are really lovely and there's some gorgeous colours in there. I've got my three easy presses, I've actually got them in the bag so that they are ready to just get out. I thought rather than storing the easy presses and then storing the bags, I would just store them in the bags. For some of my Cricut vinyl and iron-on rolls, I've used IKEA bag holders. They are super handy and you get a good amount of rolls in each of those. I've got an Ikea drawer unit here, of course I've got my favourite snacks ready to pinch as I walk past. I absolutely love these drawers because they go back really far and they're at different depths as well so I can get different items in. So I've got all my Happy Fabric iron on in there. This drawer is just full of paperwork and all my different tools that I don't use on a regular basis. I've got more Cricut vinyl and iron-on in that drawer. Got more Cricut rolls in there, I've got transfer tape, I've got stencil vinyl, I've got some iron-on and some vinyl in there. This drawer has rolls of iron-on from MDP Supplies. Then this drawer has got some vinyl at the back there from MDP Supplies and then I've got some vinyl from GM Crafts in there. I love these little trolleys, they were on offer in Hobbycraft, they were £25 I think. I've got two of them, one is for sewing items, uh, so I've got threads and buttons and you can see I've got zips there and my overlocker. And then this one just has some odds and sods and bits that I may need but I don't need them in my immediate vicinity. There's more of my Cricut vinyl and iron-on rolls and I've got uh, my sister-in-law's sewing dummy and that is actually her overlocker as well so they are very much loved. I need to find a home for all this beautiful cardstock from Paper Mill Direct. 
I've of course got my font wall which I've not finished yet but I am getting there. I want it to actually span the whole wall. My desk again is from Ikea and it is actually a kitchen island and I absolutely love it. It's nice and high, I can sit at it and I can stand at it. It's got that great storage at the front and it's nice and big so it gives me plenty of workspace. I absolutely love my crochet cuties, they are just fantastic. I've got my computer monitor up on the wall so I can easily see design space and I can do lots and lots of designing from the comfort of my desk without actually taking up any room on my desk. So my pegboard, oh, or boards I should say. So there are six of the big IKEA pegboards there. They obviously come in white and I've just spray painted them. I just got some pastel spray paint and gave them a good spray paint and I have to say they turned out wonderfully. All the shelving units uh, are from Ikea as well as the pots. All the different hooks are available from Ikea as well. I made my fabric storage hoops. I absolutely love those and they add a real nice look to the pegboards. Got some of my Cricut pens up there on display. And then I've got all my different washi tapes as well. These holders that I've got my ribbons on are also from Ikea. I just think that with pegboards you can personalise them however you want and you can really make them work within your craft room and they provide so much storage, it's amazing. So I've got a stock of new mats there. Also got my stock of blades. And then I've got my used mats going along the bottom. This shelving unit is also from Ikea. In fact, everything's from Ikea, let's just be really honest about it. I'm not really using the drawers at the moment, although I will, uh, but what I did want was an area to display some of my Cricut items. In the back there I've actually got one of the tool display stands, which is never ever coming out the box, and then I've got some old cartridges. I've got a, another cutie there, which is from Crazy Crochet. I've got some lovely Cricut books that my dad got me last Christmas. Uh, there's more cartridges, my very, very much loved cutie. And then at the back there, we've got the old Cricut Provo Craft uh, tool set, which again, is never ever coming out of the packaging. Here I've got another shelving and drawer unit from Ikea. We've yet to put that up. I can't quite decide where I want it. I've then got this fantastic drawer unit from Ikea, and you can see that I've used vinyl to actually label all the different drawers. So I've got lots and lots of different A4 sheets of vinyl in there. And I tend to label all my A4 sheets so I know exactly where they've come from and I know exactly what they are as well. So I've got more A4 sheets of vinyl in there and there's uh, some multicolour roll bits. Uh, this is the Crafty Cutter drawer. So in here I've got different A4 sheets of iron-on. Uh, some are Crafty Cutter, some are MDP, some are a rainbow of stitches. Some of those are Hexis as well. I'm really loving the Hexis iron-on at the moment. In this one I've just got white cardstock. So this drawer here holds all my different printables. So I've got Cricut printables and I've got Silhouette printables. I am so excited to try the printable Glow in the Dark. And I'm also excited to try the printable tattoo paper as well. This is my Stuff You drawer which pretty much does what it says on the tin. It is the junk drawer. I've got different coloured cardstock in those two drawers. 
and this drawer is actually the box of uff cuts that you can get from paper mill direct so that is one box in there and then in this drawer i've got different types of craft foam so you can see i've got my cricket wall there and then i've got my two makers and then these units are also from ikea so this drawer holds all my different Cricut sampler packs. So these are all the thicker cards. So there's card, there's foil poster board in there. Uh, there are all sorts of different Cricut card sampler packs in this drawer. This drawer's got all my different sampler packs of Cricut vellum, acetate and washi sheets. This drawer's got all my different Cricut pattern paper and cardstock. And then at the bottom there I've got some of my patterned uh, paper packs which I get from the range and Hobbycraft. This drawer's got more pattern papers and cardstock. Some are Cricut, some are Hobbycraft, some are the range. And then I've got some of my deco patch papers there as well. In this drawer I've got my heavy chipboard and I've got my really heavy cardstock. So like my Cricut uh, craft board and then my Cricut corrugated card packs are in there as well. And then this drawer has got all my Cricut felts, my Cricut faux suede, my Cricut metallic leathers. Uh, that drawer is absolutely chocker full of different Cricut felt colours. Down the side of the drawers I've got my 12 by 24 cardstock packs. Those are my Cricut ones. I need to find somewhere else to store them, but they're not the easiest to be able to store. So this is my Easy Press drawer. So I've got all my different Easy Press mats. I've got my Teflon sheet and I've got my Easy Press heat protective sheet which unfortunately is not available here in the UK. I absolutely love this, I use it all the time and it is like my precious. In here I've got all my different transfer tape, so I've got paper transfer tape in there, I've got transfer tape from MDP Supplies, GM Crafts, Cricut, Crafty Cutter and Hexis. In this drawer I've got all my 12 by 12 sheets from Style Tech Craft. Uh, I absolutely love their vinyls, I do use them regularly and they are readily available here in the UK under white label but I love that I've got them in 12x12 12 12 because for me I'd much rather have 12x12 12 12 sheets than A4 sheets. This is one of the drawers of Doom. This is my iron-on off-cut drawer. Some of the off-cuts are quite big, some of them are quite small. This drawer seems to go on for miles and miles. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, how can you find anything? Well, I don't. I just root through it and I go, oh, there's enough of that. I'm going to use that. And then we have a, another drawer of Doom. So this is the vinyl off-cuts drawer. Again, pretty extensive. There are so many different colours and types and there's so many so many offcuts and small pieces in there um, but it's always worth keeping them and I find that sometimes you've actually got enough in your offcuts to be able to do a really good project so I try and keep as much of my offcuts as I can and then at the bottom here I've just got my stationery and then I've got a great big roll of glow-in-the-dark iron-on which I got from MDP supplies I absolutely love my craft room. I mean, I loved it before, but now it's just everything that I wanted it to be. There's still some finishing touches to do, but I, I just love it. It makes me so happy to be in here, and it's such a great space. 
If you are redesigning your craft room or you're thinking of putting together a craft room or even a craft area, it's definitely worth making some sketches. It's worth looking online, seeing what furniture you might need or having a look on Pinterest and getting some ideas because you can make whatever space you've got work for you. It just needs to take some planning. I think I spent probably about two months just redesigning this constantly on paper. Looking at different storage pieces I could use. I mean, trying to find the desk that I wanted was really, really hard. And then for some reason, I just looked in the kitchen area in Ikea and I was like, that is the desk. That is perfect. It's exactly what I want. So it's definitely worth taking your time and planning everything out. If you've got any great storage ideas or you want to share any pictures of your craft room or indeed storage then please do comment in the comments below. I love being able to interact with you all and it's not finished, it's not perfect, there's still some things that I need to sort out. So if you have got any ideas then please do let me know. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please do hit the subscribe button and also click the bell to be notified of new videos. And I will see you all again soon.